Hello, boys and girls. Once again, late. This is late uh, Saturday night for me, but I'm here to show you uh, our new release of No Limits Designer. This will be available to the public, so you don't have to be a a special uh, VIP or anything on our forum to get this. However, you probably ought to register on our forum if you haven't already because you're going to want to ask questions if you're going to want this. Um, but anyway, let me let me explain just a little bit. I'm going to give you an overview of it, and then they're going to make some tutorials on how to actually use this. Um, first of all, let me explain. This is um, an offshoot of the uh, a face creator that I had. You might look at some of my other videos to show how that works, and that is still available, but actually it's kind of superseded by No Limits Designer. There really isn't much of a point to use that anymore. You can still... Uh, use it if you want but this one will do everything that does plus a ton more and right now what I'm using it for is our, our bodies create bodies but it can be used for faces as well but uh, I want to show you the, the bodies part of it so that you can at least get an idea of, uh, of what it's doing here um, first of all this is uh, first of all I should mention this this is only as good as the file that you give it it's like garbage in garbage out so uh, I've worked about a week on this particular file. I'm going to provide a sample file for you to use um, uh, that will at least show off many of the concepts of it. But really, it's it's how much uh, content and stuff that you create with it determines uh, you know the kinds of looks you'll get and the kinds of combinations you can get from it. But but even in a week, I can generate. Uh, I think I figured out there's about 500,000 possible combinations here. But there may be a lot more, and uh, and it didn't take me very long to to create these. So anyway, what this does, what Nolimus Designer does, basically, is take a file full of switches and randomly assigns the switches. But you you have a lot of control over how you um, create those assignments. And um, so this is with female bodies right now, and, and obviously you can see there's a, just a ton of different looks. Um, what I've got here, let me get to to one that has a layered look. <laughs> some of some of these looks, you know, and what, what's interesting about it is some of these looks I would never ever on my own come up with uh, because I just wouldn't even think of it. Um, but they but they come up on, on here. So what happens is, and here's the layers. So I have the the layers here, and there's a lot of layers. I don't want you to get overly confused about all this. Uh, the way I've set this up isn't the only way to set this up. I'm going to give you an example of how to do it, and I'm going to go through the tutorials on how to do all this stuff. But this is how I do it for, for women. It's a little more complicated for women because women are more complicated, as you know. Uh, but essentially what happens is that I give it different layers. So I have pants and skirts and dresses, and it chooses among those, but then it combines other parts of those. And, um, and that's something you can set up for yourself. And actually, I wasn't the first one to do this. One of our users on the forum came up with this, good old Chucky, and uh, with all the different switches he has for his uh, body that gave me uh, a good idea and good start. Actually, where this really came from, though, and i got to show you this. Uh, let me bring this up, and um, <laughs> I'm not really prepared. <laughs> yeah, all right, give me that. Um, let me go to Cartoon Solutions. Where this always started from is uh, Cartoon Solutions. I'm going to bring this over here. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I actually bought some of their hands one time before I knew what I was doing. They have something called Character Builder. And essentially what you do is you buy the heads, uh, which cost six bucks a piece for the heads, which I think is outrageous. But even more outrageous is then you combine them with the bodies. And so, for example, they have a casual business male here, body here. That's 12 bucks for that body. And then and then you got to pay 12 bucks more to get a, the same body, essentially, with different colors on it. Uh, and then they have one, you know, with a tie, and then the one without the tie is, uh, is I mean, without without the jacket is, uh, is 12 bucks. Anyway, so I saw this and I thought to myself, what a ripoff. You can spend several hundred bucks to get that, or you can make it up yourself. So uh, so I made it up myself. So I first started off with the guys, and so this is, uh, this is the guys, and so for, you know, absolutely zero dollars, since my generator is free, you can generate... Every character they have plus a ton more. Now, I will say, theirs are rigged. Uh, and you might wonder why mine don't have uh, hands and feet. That's because I use my auto rig, um, which I'm sure some of you have seen the videos on that creates that stuff automatically. Uh, but at least it gives you the basic bodies that you can, you know, then rig yourself up any way you want. And someday maybe auto rig will be available to, 
so anyway, so so I thought, well, this is uh, this is the way to do it. And, and all this you might notice is controlled. There's colors here, and and all these different colors are controlled by. Um, so you so you can put in your own colors and seed colors. But what I found out was that even better than doing that was I allowed color schemes to come up. So that for example, you can use a complementary color scheme. And now it's it's based on the the current default color. So the default color is um, kind of this dark maroon, and it's generating color schemes on the basis of that. And if you change the default color, if I change it to um, let's say yellow, and then generate some schemes on that, so now it now it generates it based on yellow. That's complementary colors, but you have all different kinds of schemes you can select from. Uh, here and get get some very pretty combinations of things. I really like the triad mixing, but I'm going to go through all of this stuff and, and show you how you can you can use all the different tools and things that are available to you here. Um, it's just like I said, I have I just have a lot of fun just trying the different combinations. I never get tired of seeing uh, seeing the things that come up. So that's No Limits Designer. It's going to be available on our forum. Um, to anyone who wants to download it and uh, and like I said we'll have some sample files that will show you how you use this um, they will contain some of these parts not all this stuff because I'm you're gonna have to draw some of your stuff yourself but the nice part about it is once you draw it once like you know you draw the tops and you draw some some legs and stuff then you can generate just a bazillion different possibilities and the same thing is true on faces uh, like I say, it can be used with facial. Oh, and the other thing I want to show you, I have color line. This is, I think is really cool. If you turn on color line, it automatically colors or tints those those lines. Some people like that tinted, and then you can adjust the the tinting so you can have it darker or lighter. To uh, and that and that's done automatically for you too. So as the colors change, the line colors change to uh, to reflect that, which I think is kind of nice for some some of you that don't use the particular style of black. Uh, you know, black lines might want to have it automatically color tinted. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I could go on all night, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get this out uh, on our forum, animatorsforum.com. I'm sure you can see the logo down here somewhere <laughs> where it's going to be generated. And, uh, and I'm Mike Kelly, and hopefully we'll see you around soon. Take care.